the first figure ever produced of Orion Pax was an e-hobby exclusive that was a repaint of Generation 1 Cup. And so it's only fitting that the latest version of Orion Pax is also a repaint with a new head of the latest version of Cup. Jello again. Aaron here from My Turbo Reviews, and today, of course, I'm talking about Transformers Tribute Orion Pax. He came in a two pack with a slight repaint of War for Cybertron Optimus Prime, who I will not be showing in this video, but I did want to touch on this figure because he's a really decent rendition of Orion Pax. Now, being the cup mold, which I reviewed a few reviews ago, there's not a lot of difference other than the paint and the detailing on him. He is definitely in a pre-Optimus Prime looking blue and red, and he does sport some Autobot symbols on him here and here, which evoke the idea of the Elite Guard for uh, various reasons. The wheels are still this transparent plastic, and even though it's difficult to tell, the back wheels are pinned in, which is something that I really enjoy and I wish more figures did rather than this peg that you get with the standard wheels that are on figures today. Orion Pax comes with the same accessories that Cup had, albeit they're different colors. And the two guns will interact with him in his vehicle mode to sort of round out that empty pickup truck looking back. And the little cockpit opens up to reveal little Titan Master well, he actually doesn't have a name for whatever reason. What he does have is some paint apps on him, which the one that came with Cup kind of lacked. So it's kind of nice to see him a little bit more detailed than what came before. And of course, we'll get into why he's relevant in a little bit. All in all, I'd say that the alt mode is very nice looking and as good as it was for Cup, I'd say that it's just as good, if not better, for Orion Pax. And of course, this vehicle is also this robot. And he is missing his head. Let me fix that right now. We take little uh, no name here, flip his legs up, make sure the arms are to the sides, twist him around, and he attaches right atop the shoulders to form the head of Orion Pax. Now, Orion Pax in this mode is just fantastic. It really reinforces the idea that this cup mold makes a great updated Orion Pax. The new head is supposedly stylized after the Generations Orion Pax that we got several years ago, and it works very well. You've got some more of this yellow and silver detailing, and his articulation is the same as Cup's ball-jointed shoulder and a double hinge at the elbow. Waist will rotate, ball jointed hip, and a pin hinge at the knee. Feet do have a little bit of articulation due to the transformation, and the weapons that he sported in his vehicle mode also interact with him here. They place very easily in his fists. And you can even plug them together and fit them on his back if you choose. This way, or as I prefer, this way. Overall, I'm really enjoying this Orion Pax, and even though he's not technically part of the Titan's Return line, I'm probably going to include him with my Titan's Return portion of my collection. 
Yes, he is being sold in a two-pack. The two-pack is only around $30 right now on Amazon.com. And that's not really all that expensive when you consider that it does come with two deluxes. And if you don't already own the War for Cybertron Optimus, it's a pretty good toy too. If he were sold on his own, I would definitely recommend that you go buy him. But as it stands right now, I would say go for it if you want to have him in your collection. And as always, this is Aaron from My Turbo Reviews saying catch you later.